Right, so I'm going to show you how you can access or copy paste all your files from GoDaddy via FTP. So basically, you need to log into your GoDaddy account and then just scroll down and look for the Manage WordPress. Currently, there's only one website that has a WordPress installed in this GoDaddy account. So if you want to access the files of this domain, you can then go into the Manage button. And then you will be redirected to the hosting portal. The hosting portal will consist of different areas um, like the WordPress installation and yeah, let me just show it you what you can access in the hosting portal. So you can see the overview where you can add posts and revise the pages. Um, you can also straightly log into this, uh, like go into the back end of the site without putting your credentials under the backup thing if you want to to um undo the changes or revert your your old version of your site to jump into the backup now on the settings one um you cannot so these are like the production sites and these are the staging sites by the way the staging thing is um is a paid version in godaddy so you need to open to their other account if you want to have a staging um feature so to access or to access the files and go in your wordpress there's two options for you to do it by going to the um, tools and click on the open so this is the web version it's so-called file manager um like these are like the 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 files that is already installed to this domain now if you want to access this one like completely download everything and then copy and then upload it in other server i would not recommend to use the web version because there's no option for you to um like download it into the zip file so what i would recommend is to go into the production sites and look and look for ssh that sst sftp login so you click that one and you should able to see the all the login credentials now um, you have an options here if you want to create a login so we're going to create a login because there's no password yet so click the login and then um, if you want to use a command line which is ssf you can also do that but yeah th this tutorial is more about just the sftp so i'm going to click that create and this is the like username basically obviously i'm blurring this because of confidential purpose so gonna copy paste the password put it in here and then we'll copy paste as well the host name and the port and then once you have all the credentials you can then install a file or a tool called file manager so this one or file actually filezilla i'll love to use filezilla by the way this one it's a free one um it has a um it's supposed to have an os and windows as well i would some always use the third like second latest version of the file and then um yeah so just use the client instead of server because this is just a basic you know copy pasting thing so i'm gonna go in i already installed that this is the file zilia by the way so you need to put in the um the host and then the username that i just created and then the password and the port click that And it should connect but if it doesn't connect i'm going to show you later what would be the tweak that you need to do in case the server so this one it doesn't connect so let me just show you go into the oh it's already connected okay so we're good to go the password is working fine and i can then start copy pasting 
all the files in here so that's how it works guys in case it doesn't connect you can go into the file and go to the site manager here site manager and like it's not showing right now because it doesn't let because it's already connected but you can go into the general and put in the host and change the protocol to a different like just pick some of those um the selections that you can see in here so just pick and try which protocol connects to your server so yeah um like right now it's ready connected so i don't have any problem with that i can then start um zipping the file and unzipping it and um base um we're gonna move this one over to the hostinger so yeah i hope it helps guys and if you have any question don't forget to comment down below